Hi everyone. Um, this video is what I call a self quiz. In other words, uh, what I'd like you to do is pause the video and on your own piece of paper and with a periodic table close at hand, I would like for you to attempt to name the first five compounds that I have here and then to provide the formula for the next five. So uh, this is very similar to the quizzes we have in class, and this should be good practice for you all. So go ahead and hit pause, and then I will go over the answers. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance now to answer these on your own sheet of paper. So this first one, <clears throat> we have HBr. So remember that whenever the anion on an acid does not does not contain a polyatomic ion. We start the acid name with hydro, and then the element name, and then we end with ick. All right. So every time you have a monatomic ion, meaning just an ion straight off the periodic table, it's going to start with hydro and it's going to end with ick. So this is hydrobromic acid. The next acid we have here, by the way, remember that an acid, if it starts with H, that's our clue for now uh, that the compound is an acid. Um, there's some more subtle things to deal with that. We will get through those eventually. All right. So the next one is also an acid. We have here the carbonate ion. And remember that um, our mnemonic for this is I ate something icky. So um, eight becomes ick. So this is going to be carbonic acid. Notice that there is no hydro here <clears throat> because this is a polyatomic um, that we're dealing with as part of the acid. So when there is a polyatomic, there is no hydro. All right, this next compound is a molecular compound. We've got two nonmetals, phosphorus and chlorine, are both from that right-hand side of the periodic table. So we're going to use our, um, our naming rules for that, which is this is going to be phosphorus. I can't spell all this is sudden phosphorus <laughs> trichloride. Remember, we drop the mono at the beginning uh, for when the first element, there's only one of them. We do not say mono. We don't call this monophosphorus trichloride. It's just phosphorus trichloride. The next compound is ionic. Remember that iron is a transition metal. So anytime you have a transition metal, that middle part of the periodic table, you have to use the Roman numerals because the charges can vary for those. So we recall that nitrate is minus one. If there are three of them, that means this iron is three plus. So this is gonna be iron three nitrate, iron three nitrate, okay? This next compound is gonna be magnesium. Magnesium is always two plus in, a comp in an ionic compound, so we don't have to specify the charge with a Roman numeral. So this is gonna be magnesium sulfate. Okay, no Roman numerals. <clears throat> now coming over here to the where we're asked to provide the formula, formula us, um, remember dynamite is dangerous, so this is the, this acid is going to contain the nitrite ion, so that's going to be HNO2, NO2 minus being nitrite. Iodic acid, um, this one's sneaky. Notice that it's not hydroiodic. Hydroiodic acid would be HI. This is iodic acid. So um, this is the I ate something icky rule. So we're looking for the iodate ion. Remember, iodate is IO3, which is 1 minus. So we need an H out in front to make it an acid. All right. Nickel 2 hydroxide is going to be nickel 2 plus with hydroxide, which is one minus. So you need two of the nickel, two of the hydroxides, excuse me, to make that compound um, come out to a charge of zero. Calcium, if, if we look on the periodic table, it's in the column for which ions are always two plus in ionic compounds. Acetate is C2H3O2 minus. Um, and so we need two of those to make this uh, a neutral compound, so CaC2H3O2, 2. Uh, dinitrogen hexafluoride, this is going to be a molecular compound, and we know that from those prefixes out there, right? So, um, so dinitrogen is two nitrogens, and hexafluoride, hexa is six, just like a hexagon, so that's N2F6. Um, hopefully this gives you uh, a little bit of practice and a little bit of confidence. 
on these. Uh, if you're not sure on these, there are separate videos in this playlist um, for naming ionic compounds, as well as for naming molecular compounds. That mole naming molecular compounds video includes um, a, a long discussion about naming acids as well. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good luck. Thanks for watching.